Hi, I'm Quack, and today I'll demonstrate how I make art for the hit browser game Deep.io in Paint.net. The animal I'll be making is an elephant seal, the largest pinniped or seal on Earth. In game, elephant seal players have the unique ability to reflect harmful status conditions, such as poison and bleeding, right back to the player that inflicted the condition. Granted, they hit that player while the condition is still in effect. But enough technical stuff. Let's get to creating. When remaking Deep.io animals in Paint.net, make sure that you first have the original animal to use as a base. When you do, add a new layer. Make sure that you don't make any of your art on the base layer, as we'll be deleting that in the end. On the new layer, start by using the rounded rectangle tool. Be sure that the shape is in draw slash fill mode because you don't want to have to use the fill tool to fill it in. You should change the corner size to be similar to the base animal. My rectangle is a bit rounder. Seeing as I use real elephant seals as a reference, the color of my rounded rectangle is a bit darker. Feel free to experiment with colors using the color tool. As you probably noticed, the shape I made has two areas, the lighter area and the darker area. To create this effect, make another rounded rectangle overlapping the original, but stopping at about halfway vertically. Make this new rounded rectangle a bit lighter, using the color tool. Then make a circle overlapping the bottom of the new rounded rectangle. Make sure it doesn't go past the border of the original rounded rectangle. If it does, you can use the masking trick which I'll explain later.
Throughout this art making process, you'll see that I use shapes to create basic structures, and then connect them with lines. I recommend using the Bezier line instead of the spline, as Bezier creates lines that are natural and have more flow, while spline tends to make things look messy. You can change the line type in the settings at the top. It's to the left of the brush width setting.
The main factor that defines my art style is the use of shading to give more depth to the animal I'm making. You'll find that the depth that shading brings also gives character to the animal. I also use gradients to blend shapes more fluently, but the way I make gradients is a bit different. What I do is make a new layer with a shape. Then I use the eraser tool, but instead of just erasing, I edit the hardness setting and only erase the edge. This provides a smooth blending effect. The technique I probably use the most is the masking trick. You can use the masking trick by selecting an area of negative space using the rectangle select tool and copying it. Next, paste this area and adjust its size so that it covers any areas where the shape exceeded the original rounded rectangle's outline. When working inside the rounded rectangle's outline, you can use a shape the same color as the surrounding area to partially cover another different colored shape.
Finally, make sure to add small details and place them where they'd look most natural. These really add distinction to your artwork and set them apart from others like it. Don't forget to delete the base layer. After you've deleted it, go to the image settings and flatten the image. And that's all you need to know. Make sure to save the image as a PNG, and then feel free to show all of your friends how great you are at making DeepIO artworks. If you want, show your support by leaving a like and subscribing. The link to DeepIO will be in the description if you ever want to give it a try, and with that, I'm out of here.